Hey guys, welcome back. So, we have hit 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. So excited. So thank you all for subscribing. I must be doing something right because there's 100,000 of you who are subscribed to my channel. And I appreciate all of you who have subscribed and stuck around and thank you. So I just wanted to do a YouTube tutorial using this Clover palette because I'm obsessed. These are the colors in it. I did do a Instagram video using it, but I wanted to do like a more in-depth video with it too. So this is the look we came up with. We went with like a greeny eye with a wing liner. So you can see it's like kind of like a like a metallic-y browny green, but I kind of like it. Kind of into it. So this video today is going to be a voiceover because I'm not feeling 100. Um, I just thought it'll be. It would be easier for me just to be able to just like do the tutorial and then add the voiceover. I know you do prefer talk throughs, so I hope you don't mind this time. So if you want to see the whole look, then keep watching. So I'm starting off using the peach looks from Glean by Melanie Mills because I just want to make myself look a little bit more or less dead. And then I'm just adding a little bit of lip balm. This is a Mary Kay lip balm just to add some hydration. So I'm trying a new foundation and a new concealer in today's video. Uh, the foundation is... Um, it's EX1 Invisiwear Liquid Foundation. The shade I'm using is shade 1.0. So I'm not 100% sure with this foundation. I don't hate it, I don't love it. I don't know, I feel like it's just sitting weird on my skin and it just shows a lot of texture. Now it could be whatever I use underneath it is doing something weird to it. It's not the worst foundation, but I will get, I'm not gonna rule it out completely. I will try it a few more times. I don't just rule a foundation out straight away. Um, but we'll see how it goes. Maybe it's just because it's not full coverage and I'm used to full coverage. But um, yeah, we'll see how it goes throughout the tutorial, how it wears. And yeah, we shall see. And the concealer I'm using today is a Mary Kay concealer. Um, I forget the which colour it is, but I'll link it below. And I was impressed by this concealer. It gives really nice coverage. It's not too drying. Um, it didn't crease. So I didn't wear it for too long, but what I wore of it, I liked. So I'll try it a few more times and give you more feedback when I try it more. And now to make myself look more bronzy, we're going to use the Hoola stick from Benefit. So the usual areas we do underneath cheekbones, around the forehead, the jawline, just wherever, you know, wherever you want to do it, just do it. I'm so pasty right now. Anyway, so just blending that out. This brush is a Morphe brush. The number I actually forget as well, so I'll let you know below. And then just to set that, I'm using the Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion. So I'm just basically going over where I used the contour stick just to set it and just bronze my skin even more. And then just a little bit of hula just underneath the cheekbones. This just helps make my cheekbones look more like cheekbones. And as you can see, I'm getting distracted by watching Dr. Phil in the background. It was a good episode, let me tell you. It was a good one. And now just for an eye base, I'm using the Stay Don't Stray from Benefit and I'm just blending that in with the same brush I used for my um, concealer. And now I'm gonna use the Clover palette from Too Faced, which is cute as shit, I can't even deal with it. But anyway, starting off with this color in to the crease as usual, just to blend a transition shade. And then in with Fur Baby, just to deepen it a bit more, add a little bit more definition into the crease because you know my crease is non-existent. So this brush is a MAC 217 brush. The first brush I used was a Zoeva 228, as always. Now getting a little bit of Chocolate Buddy and we're just working this into the outer crease. Just again, adding definition and just building up the colour. Next up, I'm using the Liquid Moon Dust from Urban Decay. This is the shade Zodiac, I think. Um, so I'm just pressing, putting this all over the lid and blending it out. And this helps the shadow that I put on top of it just really pop and just like make the most of the colour. So this colour, Best Friends, I'm putting on top. So you can see here, it just really intensifies that shade and just brings it out the most it can bring it out. 
I don't even know what I'm saying, but you know, you know. And then adding a little bit of woof just to the outer corner, just to deepen it and give it a little bit more of a smokier effect, just on the outer corner and then just blending it out with the MAC 217 brush. And now using the Caf on the tattoo liner, we're just gonna go in and whack on a wing. I have a more in-depth liner tutorial, I'll link below that you can check it out. And now using the Marc Jacobs pencil in brownie, I'm just going into the lash line. And then I'm just getting a flat brush and just blending that out. And just blending that out with fur baby. Now getting a little bit of cuteness overload then just to highlight the inner corner. And then the usual, adding a coat of mascara, I'm going to use the Benefit Their Real today. And my lashes I'm using are Lily Lashes in the style Miami. Just kind of help finish off the look. And now just adding a little bit of blush to my cheeks, this is Style Blush from MAC. And now using Ofra Cosmetics Rodeo Drive to highlight. As you know, this is probably my holy grail highlight. And to finish it off, this is a liquid lipstick from a brand called Lawless. I just think they're a new brand. Uh, the style, the color of this is called Cameron. And then just finishing it off then with some spray. This is the Ready Set Radiant from Tarte. So this is the finished look. I'm kind of happy with how it turned out. Um, foundation wise, I'm still not 100% sure with this foundation. As I said, I'm not gonna completely rule it out. I am gonna try it again. Um, I'm gonna try it next time with a primer because this time I didn't use a primer. It might look good on camera. Like from what I'm looking here, it looks good. But when I look close in the mirror, I just feel it kind of shows off a lot of texture on my skin. It's a little bit like, it doesn't feel dry, but I feel like it sets dry on the skin, if that makes sense. But as I said, I'm not gonna rule it out. I'm gonna try it again with maybe a different moisturizer, a different primer, whatever it may be. I'll try it a few more times. Again, as always, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. So I'm gonna go now, take my makeup off, lie on the couch, make some tea, watch Scandal, which I'm obsessed with now, and probably take a nap. Sounds like a good Tuesday to me. Thanks again guys and I will see you in my next video.